Hi everyone, Donna here at Marsh Mackey Recruitment. I'm just coming on to um, give a quick tutorial, if you like, about how to fill out the timesheet. I've updated it as well, so it might be a little bit easier for everyone to kind of understand and um, hopefully to fill out. So um, if you have any questions, obviously always give us a shout because I know it can be a little bit confusing at times, but um, you know it just means that hopefully you know problems can be avoided and all that sort of thing so um so i'm going to walk you through it on how to fill it out and how i suppose we'd prefer it to be filled out if possible there are always going to be things that will come up that we haven't dealt with so always just give us a shout or if you're unsure of anything just give either myself or the girls or david a buzz there's no problem so um i'm going to go ahead and um get on with this and if anything comes up in the meantime you can always give us a call thanks a lot Okay, so here we have the updated timesheet. Um, everyone should have received one by now. So I have it kind of color coded as you can see, and um, it's hopefully a little bit more user friendly for everyone. So agency staff name, so that is your own name. Um, so ideally we would love everyone to type out their timesheets if possible. Um, so pop your own name in there. The client name is where you're actually situated. So whatever department you're in and that would be HSE, I'm going to put in hospital, wherever you are. So whatever that is for you. Uh, and then your PPS number is obviously underneath your name here. So uh, one, three, four, five, six, and um, AF, okay. So, um, so your PPS number. So it's all very clear and easy to read for us as well. So um, the standard rate is obviously if you're working Monday to Friday, nine to five thirty. I have examples up here in green. So uh, hopefully they're you know easy enough to follow. And um, seven and a half hours paid there as well. Um, then there's another example there for if you're working night shift, so nine p.m. to 9 a.m. So make sure you have your p.m.s and a.m.s correct if you're if you're working um, night shifts or anything like that. Annual leave um, would be another one that we come up against as well. So just put in your annual leave is fine, but put in the amount of hours. So if it's seven hours, if it's five hours, whatever your standard working day would be. Um, and then obviously public holiday. So this is if you're if you usually work on a Monday um, and you're not working on the Monday, you would put that in on standard because that's what's paid there on standard. Um, on the overtime, which is time and a half, Monday to Saturday it's fairly it's fairly um, straightforward really if you're working overtime so if you have worked um, your 37 hours of standard hours and um, you need to work extra time you would be putting it in here so say if I finish my standard day at 5 30 then um, I'm going to be putting in my hours here my date so uh, today is the 7th of the 2nd 22 and then I'm going to be working from say 6 p.m to 7 30 p.m and that's pretty much how you do that if you are taking a break you put in your 15 minutes there um so uh so that's pretty much it on the time and a half and then if you're working sundays or uh, public holidays that's where you would enter the information in there when you're working on a public holiday so if that was um they're mostly mondays but um you know it's, if you're working St. Patrick's Day or you know any of the, the new bank holidays that the new bank holiday coming up now as well so any of those things they are public holidays but if you that's why I have an extra line in there as well if there was an uh, uh, another day that was a public holiday you would put it in there that you're working um, so that we'll know then to pay you double time and to also charge HSE double time for that. So I have an exceptional set, a circumstances one here as well. So say if you were asked to cover your um, the manager's um, position and with authorization from your supervisor, if they agree to pay you more, then obviously you would fill that in there. Um, I have again from 6 to 8 p.m. Or, or whatever your hours are that you're working and then you'd have double time approved and obviously Everything is totaled at the bottom. So whether that's 37 hours, 42 and a half hours, whatever your working hours are, are always totaled at the bottom here and then uh, authorized by your supervisor. Um, 
So you can uh, type it out yourself and maybe email it to your supervisor for them to sign or else um, type it out, then print it out yourself and then ask your supervisor to sign it. And then you can send it into us as normal into into David. Um, so if uh, if you've any questions on this at all or if you're unsure about anything, just give us a shout here and we'd be happy to help um, just to make sure that everything goes smoothly. So um, you can see here on this particular one as well, also put in your week ending. So um, I have that filled in there uh, from the other day. So you'll fill that in uh, obviously every week as well. So yeah, so last last Friday was the fourth. So the second, 22. So you'd be filling that out every week as well, just to make sure that all the sections are covered. I have, as I say, I've just put in the colors just to kind of maybe make it more user friendly. So hopefully that helps everyone. But if you have any questions at all, you can give any anyone here a buzz, myself, Lauren, Shannon or David. Um, we're, we're always here to help. So thanks for listening. Bye.